first we'd hope. Okay. Okay. Here's a lot of just depending mm -hmm. on it. Ready? Okay, so we are a commuter city. We were built to commute to someplace else to work and come back. And so we have, you know, real issues. So that's why transportation and congestion is really important to us. You know, where the north and the south meets the east and west, we're like that triangle. And so making sure that we can get people through is important here. I've spent 20 years helping our schools. I've been dedicated to our schools. I believe in shifting that the levy swap, so shifting your local dollars to, that you pay directly to your district to the state. And I believe that we'll increase a good chunk of what we need at that level. I'm open to you know raising the common schools levy authority um, if we need to. And then we've got a pretty good forecast for economics, so definitely you know shifting some of those dollars into education will be important. I would love to see a separate education budget like we have a separate transportation budget. So, you know, the income tax is really vulnerable or it's volatile. You can't really count on it. So that I think would be terrible to try to fund education. And I want to make sure that our state laws support local police so that our communities are safe. I met with St. Francis Hospital, which is our hospital system here, and um, they are working collaboratively with multi, and they just didn't feel like the state was funding them enough. And right now their emergency rooms are packed with people that don't have any place to go and and so they're taking beds that need to be there for emergency situations so they came together in a really innovative way in my opinion two separate organizations coming together to find a solution to help folks with mental illness issues and behavioral illness issues so that's the kind of stuff I love to see um, especially when the private sector can come up with some some creative innovative ideas that's going to help us in the long run district has a strong independent streak. I think they vote for people who really are committed to the district and I am that person. <laughs>